Welcome back to another episode of Awashi. We are in the second episode or previous episode. We had our match begin with Musashino, right? And they're supposed to be technically the worst team, even though they're undefeated right now because of how their manager has kind of groomed each player to understand their role. Even though you lose out individual talent, you as a unit is actually so much better. And he actually deconstructs Esperion's team saying, we have our playmaker. We have all these players that kind of knows how to like high end press and kind of fall back. We know we know how to kind of like use our mediocreness and kind of throw that away and play in a style that really pressures Asperion. And on top of that, they have one outlier player who seems to be a pure striker in the form of Canada, right? And I was shitting on him before because he couldn't even make our team, right? And that that is the case, but he has worked really hard. And honestly, he's pretty he's pretty legit. We we gotta give him the thing, right? We gotta give him credit where it's due. And there's also Uchiha Sasuke, his name's not Sasuke, but he has Sasuke hair. He's the playmaker, and every I always kind of like focusing on him, kind of seeing like, wow, this is what a playmaker can do. Right now, they're doing much better than us. I think they're only a goal up or something, or maybe two. Can't really remember, but the most important that thing happened at the end was, you know what Togashi was warning us the previous episode, saying, you guys are playing to be poor, you're not playing to win. And this toxic mentality, when it's a life or death situation, you're going to back out. What happened during the exchange between Kaneda and Kuruda, right? Kuruda said that he would mark Kaneda. And things were looking pretty good until he started having a little mo entire little uh, monologue going like, what am I doing here? What is it? What exactly is it that I'm playing for, right? And there's a moment where it seems like they're, on the, they're scuffling on the sidelines and Kuruda does get the ball out and he kind of gives up, but Kaneda doesn't. And Kaneda does the craziest reach around, fucking twisting his neck, kicks it right between Kuroda's legs, and there's a goal that happens from it. And that moment, I realized, oh shit, Togashi was right. I think maybe, maybe I'm not sure, maybe Kuroda will uh, acknowledge it in this episode, but that split second decision making from, from oh, their names are confusing, it's like Kuroda and Kanada. Kuroda is our side, the guy never opens his eyes. He did open his eyes in the previous episode. When I said that whenever he, people open their eyes, th that never has their eyes open, like Brock, I don't think he's ever actually in Pokemon. I don't think he's actually ever opened his. I can't remember, but they get really super serious time, right? This is a time for Kuroda to get serious, but he got outplayed. And maybe he'll acknowledge it, maybe he won't. I still think we're still going to win this game. No, we're, there's no way we're not going to win this game, right? That's, or story wise, it doesn't make sense for us to lose here. Maybe we do, and it's like, oh shit, this is a good wake-up call. I'm still waiting for Tachibana to wake up because this is supposed to be his character arc. And God, we need a fucking goal, please. Let's start today's episode. 1-0 right now. It's only one goal, it's fine. We got this, right? We got this, right? Here comes the copium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're better on paper individually, but none of that shit matters. No, 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 we should have different styles to match their defense, but... Okay, Tachiban is kind of stepping up. Let's stick with their OG plan then, huh? You too? Okay. Togashi and him doesn't get along, but he's agreeing with them. I want to see Kuroda's reaction, though. Considering the last play. You know... <laughs> Kind of, kind of rude, kind of mean, but is he wrong? Tachibana hasn't done shit, dude. We're waiting for him to do something. Tachibana. Oh, there's another Tachibana. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. How many Tachibanas are there? What? Ao is pushing pretty hard right now. The... All right. Pass. And goalkeeper gets it first. Man, we are fucking desperate. I'm feeling the same way too, honestly. I'd be like, please, any why don't you get in there, man? You sh I mean, he wasn't really in position, but... Are you gonna wake up, man? Any yeah! What is it with your wording? How about you? Get in there! What he said... I kind of feel the desperateness. Okay, there we go, right? He needs to step up. There it is! There's a determination to score. Like a demon. Maybe that's Tachibana, but... What he said, like anyone will do. That was way too desperate. Oh, you can feel his presence. Hey, me, me, give me the ball. <laughs> What's he going like this for? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, wait, Tachimana going back to defend also? Where did. 
Where did all this determination come from? Well, he's, they're in a pinch, right? What's his twin sister thinking about? I want to see Tachibana like the ace player that Musashino kind of like boasted about. A little bit too serious. But if you're not serious enough, then what happened? Nothing. I can feel Tachibana struggle, man. Like you're trying so hard to turn things around, but then that trying hard actually is counterproductive. And it makes it sets you even further back, and you feel like you need to do more. It, yeah, that's a shitty feeling. His sister's like, huh? Wait, wait, what? What? What have you realized? No, fuck the passing. You're just gonna. No, but he's pushing really hard by himself. Solo play? Could you always do this? The fuck? I contact Hachimana. There it is. Okay, communication went through. Uh. Otomo, can you cover? Can you cover? I don't think he could. Wait, 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 wait. Aoi's still there. I think Aoi's still following up, though. Keep pushing in. The cross is coming. Aoi's covering. No, don't give up. Open your eyes. See, it's still it's Aoi, right? Oh, that's a bit too much. That's that's already got kind of out. I always going for is can he actually save this that I mean I, I bet he will but like based on like the slow-mo play of where the ball was before he jumped it that didn't look like it oh it's quite inspirational though when you see him working so hard all the time work hard too okay, okay we got the cross come on Tachimane are you in position get the rebounds Tachibana somehow! That's really close to the goal though. How is he gonna get the... Just headed directly right in? This is for Ashito. Get it in, get it in. Surely it's... Wait, what? Okay! I don't even know what kind of kick this is, but he's doing like a somersault backflip front flip kick. Okay, okay. That's gotta be one of the coolest schools I've ever seen so far. Usually it's like an overhead bicycle kick, but that was like a front flip. I I don't even know. I, I don't even know. Maybe that was a back flip. I didn't really see the flip correctly, but... Good shit, good shit. Now keep that up for the rest of the game. We're tied. I want to see uh, Kaneda's reaction to this, though. What's, is he still going to think that he's a non-threat? I told you! Celebrate! This must mean like such a big deal to him, though. Watch him let out a big cry. Big victory cry. There it is. Because he's been in such a mental block for the longest time. Even his twin sister said, wow. God dang it. The team morale for the other team. Just one goal and you're down like this? Maybe they'll collapse because Canada is going to continue to be just toxic and just be shit on them. Even though they're doing pretty decent. Oh, uh, he's still coordinating everybody with communication, right? I haven't seen him do the head, head turns and like the crazy plays just yet. But it's Tachibana focus right... If this shoots right now and score... Okay, pass. I thought it was going to... Holy shit. If he was going to just shoot right there and score. Mm. He's having fun now. He doesn't feel scared. Oh! I haven't seen her show that much emotion. Oh, if you get a goal right now, man. If you get a goal right now, this will be actually such a death. It's out. What happened? Offside? What? Offside. The goal... It's in the look at the baller's face. Who is the MVP? Which one, Aoi or Tachibana? Really? Off that. I mean, it's been like a couple of minutes of Tachibana was useless until the last couple of minutes, but okay, okay. Oh, Aoi. He's realized. He's realized the true playmaker on this field. Wow, even the managers give me credit right now. Then exploit the opening. Okay, good, good. Pressed up as in they're really in front of like the defensive thing. I, like, I, I always like Asperion's like a uh, goal, right? Becomes Hachibana. As long as we push through and we get a long ball, we can counter it super easy. Otomo. Tachibana. We still haven't seen what the ta Offside again? What the fuck is this sh Really? 
I I mean, it's not show me the line. Okay, okay, maybe it was offside. Side. Kanata hasn't really made a move yet either, huh? But I feel like this is a bit too easy. We're getting baited. There's Sasuke. Did he just push us? Did he, did he just not push? Oh, whatever. What's the weakness? Oh, there go. Ah, speak of that. Why shouldn't that? There comes Kanada, man. Maybe he's the demon. I don't know. Am I too tense? Wow. This block is able to just like calm himself down like this during the moment of just like when it matters. Like that's the kind of that I remember, but he completely changed over I guess 20 or so episodes. No. Are you serious? Are you serious? Bro. bro that was the most casual goal I've ever fucking seen. She was just like monologuing. A little soft tap. Alright, 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 alright. He's... Yeah, I know he's good. I've given him credit before too, but... Oh, he's able to cut through. There goes Kana. If he gets another goal right now before they have, that's going to be pretty bad. 3-1, that's it. 2-1's already bad enough. 3-1's like... Ugh. Uh oh, they're having a fucking serious flashback. Oh no, oh no, he's going to score right now. If they're going to show us a flashback in mid-play like this... Oh no, here comes a goal. Mmm. <laughs> talking about Togashi and Red Hair, right? Probably? Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, guys, come on, you made up! You made up, though! Kaninda's still thinking about the past, about how he couldn't make it in. I can really... Honestly, it's quite admirable for to see kind of the like climb, crawl up his way, like he's saying. It's two on one, and he's still up. His physique is actually kind of crazy. An obsession for goals. He's a pure striker. He is a pure forward. Oh my god! Falling kick. That's a goal. That's a goal. unless somebody fucking gets in there in front. Who is it? Tachibana? Aoi? Oh, what? Wait! Don't hit the. Oh no! He hit his life for that situation though. Kuroda went for it. Yo, last episode. He is the last person to have done that. I'm down. I'm down. But man, the way that um uh, last episode it ended with Kanada getting one over Kuroda, right? And Kanada, I mean, he did amazing right now too. But you know how Kuroda gave up, even though he thought that the ball was out of bounds, and then Kanada just kind of twisted around and kicked it in. And then he was able to do a cross for Sasuke, do the header, and get a goal. For Kuroda to dive in right here, this is a life or death situation that Togashi was talking about. And he's the last person you would expect to just like jump into danger like this and get injured. Because the entire flashback before, he was saying it's about taking care of yourself. It's about planning to go professional, right? Even though right now, if we did lose, it probably going professional doesn't really make sense. Kuroda right now is doing what Togashi wanted him to do. And at the end, you can see Togashi's eyes flare up and be like, holy shit. That guy actually went for that. He sacrificed his body, saved the goal, but he went for it, right? To okay. Last episode ended him with, with the Kuroda L, and then this episode ends with the Kuroda W. That's, I mean, granted, he didn't show up in any. <laughs> did he do anything this episode? I don't think he did anything until the very end. He, was just, he just showed out of nowhere to save this, but. MVP of this episode, even though the manager did say, the coach of the enemy team did say it's Aoi. Kuroda at the end. If if they if they got another goal and if it was 3-1, the momentum would have been so bad for us, man. Kuroda... Worth, worth, worth. But the injury seems... I don't know. His head's kind of bleeding. I, I, I it's, it's probably a minor injury unless he has a fucking full-on concussion and... Could you imagine if this is the end of his professional career? That would be fucked. Nah, the author wouldn't do that. The author wouldn't do that, right? I mean, would it be a poetic ending about a player who only cared about maintaining himself to go professional for this one moment where he gives all that up to go for the to go for the win, to finally just like retire because of an injury? No, that's too fucked up, right? That's too fucked up. No, I'm sure I'm sure Togashi and Kuroda will kind of. See eye to eye. See like, wow, that's kind of respect. You did what I thought you couldn't do. And you even got injured in the process. And you saved us from that goal. I think I think things will be alright. Like a demon. 
who was like a demon in this episode? Uh, it's maybe Tachibana during the initial like little little uh like in the in the earlier half of the episode where he got the goal, he was so driven to push forward and get the goal until they changed their style up. Maybe Tachibana, but Kaneda still, as much as I want to shit on him, like he's got such a desire to score and like to to understand like where he comes from to get rejected all like before getting into Esperion and having to crawl his way up here and now he's able to compete with the players that he couldn't play with because he was rejected right. It's honestly quite compelling. Even though he's supposed to be like the bad guy, it's a soccer. Come on, it's 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 a soccer, right? And seeing him grind and get the results that he wants, pretty legit. This is episode twenty-two. I, I guess we're just gonna finish off the season with this final bat, this match. I don't see how we're gonna lose. I think, as Fukuda coach just said, we have one player that's gonna reverse it all. That's gonna be Aoi. Enemy coach has already acknowledged Aoi is a threat. He's the MVP. I don't know what he's going to say in the 15 minutes to rally us up, but something will happen. I will be able to, you know, lead them to good coordination. I'm sure he'll actually get a goal too, because he's been talking about the willingness to get a goal. And Fukuda is watching right now. There is a distinction that he makes when he, when he says, uh, I want to score, right? Even though I've been playing defense, the desire to score is still an instinct for me. Become a fullback who can push up and score. That's something he can do. And that's what Fukuda wants. That's a big picture at the end of the day about how he's the missing piece. If we just have Aoi as a fullback, then we can be a hyper aggressive offensive team where even the defense is able to push up and score like that, right? That is the big picture that Fukuda was talking about that I think is what's going on. So maybe we'll see just a glimpse of that. Maybe in the next episodes, Aoi will be able to push up and get a goal. And I don't know, it'll be like the dagger to end the match. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you don't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to buckle push out my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.